Hi everyone! Today's video is going to be on a Peperomia collection. Just a few different varieties that I own. Um, this is not all of them because some of them that I had have died. So I'm going to share a couple of tips and tricks that I've learned um, taking care of Peperomia just because it is a genius that I really enjoy and there's so many different varieties to them. So yeah, I hope you guys are all doing good and let's go ahead and get started. So today's video, I'm going to start with the Peperomia obtusifolia. I would say it's pretty much a basic Peperomia that you could find in almost any store these days. Um, this one I found by chance. I had taken somebody to the airport, I don't remember who, but I stopped at a Home Depot near um, LAX and I found this one. It was much smaller at the time, probably like about right here. And I paid like $3, it was like $2 and change. And I was so excited because being a part of like a new plant collector at the time, I didn't know much. And so saving money was very nice at the time. So here it is. It just has these really round leaves. This one is very easy to take care of. I almost always neglect it is why it's so dusty right now. Um, but it's very succulent like so I just water it when it's dry and it does really well. I haven't had any issue with pest on this and yeah it's a pretty easy plant. Just loves the sunlight even if I didn't give it sunlight like if I gave it low light it was still fine it's just it would grow a much slower than having high bright light. So next one I want to share with you is going to be this one right here. This is a Peperomia angulata. So it's a brilliant green and pale striped leaves. They trail nicely in baskets or in combo pots with other tropicals. It needs bright to moderate indirect light water when approaching dryness. So I got this one last year. I had actually been looking for this one. Um, I found it at my local nursery, Bulls uh, Landscape Nursery. And when I got it, all the leaves fell off. And I don't know what I did wrong. I think it was just like they had it outside and maybe it, had, it got a little too cold. And so I placed it under my grow light and um, just continue to water it, water it like I do my other peperomias and then it just gave out so much growth. Right now the leaves are falling. That's my fault. I let it dry out a little too much. So what I like to do with my peperomias, I usually like to give them a pebble tray and like this is a great example because here I put lava rocks. If it doesn't have a drainage hole, I'll put lava rocks in there and water. And as you can see, it's completely dry. So I like to put water in there. That way it kind of like um, gives humidity to the bottom and it's kind of like bottom watering it. And that way I would never completely dry out because I know it's sensitive and the leaves fall off like they're starting to now. But it's really pretty. It kind of looks like the watermelon peperomia, just a more narrow form of leaf. And I like that it grows straight up. And yeah, it's cool. Um, here I paid $7 for it. Sorry, it's backwards, but yeah. So that is the second one. Next, I'm gonna share my watermelon peperomia. It's looking pretty sad right now. And I think it's because when I moved, we had like a really bad draft in the living room and it was just getting too cold. But if you see way deep in there, it's starting to push out new growth. So I think it's finally starting to adapt to the environment I'm giving it. I'm also not letting it get that cold in here anymore now that I've seen these brown wilty leaves. So pretty much the old ones have already fallen off, fallen off where I've trimmed them just because it was looking so bad. And pretty much all of this here in the middle is new growth. Um, when it comes to my peperomias, I like to keep them in terracotta because they are very susceptible to overwatering and getting root rot. 
and so I still am not like a pro at watering my plants so I like the terracotta because it'll help wick out that extra water that doesn't need to be in there. So next this plant is a peperomia caparata or also known as a ripple leaf peperomia so it has like these deep ridges. I'm going to show you two. So this is the original one I had. I believe it's the green emerald. You can see it's starting to put out one of those little rat tail flowers. So I think it's liking its uh, grow light. But with that, I was at a garden nursery recently and I was looking through the peperomia selections just to see if I could pick up a few new peperomia. And I came across this one. I don't know if the sliding is going to show it, but if you can see here on this leaf, it has like this little variegation on there. It's like very subtle. Can't really see it under the leaf, but I saw that and I thought, is it just like deficient in nutrition? What is it? And so then I saw this leaf right here. If you can see, it has some more variegation on there. And so honestly, I don't know what the variegation is on it but I just thought that was so cool. And so I was like, do I get it? Because obviously I already have this plant. And I was just like, if I don't get it, I'm never gonna stop thinking about it. So just pick it up. And when I came home, I immediately repotted it to terracotta just to the keep it from getting re-rot because it was pretty wet in the nursery pot. And when I noticed, when I repotted it, is there's actually two plants in here Oh, it's kind of hard to show you, but here split. I don't know if you could tell there's two different plants and the plant here. There we go. The plant here on this side is the one that holds the variegation. The one here is just the regular emerald. So I kind of want to repot this and split them, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. Just so. I don't overwater like half of it in a dye. Like I know I can control watering this one since it's the same size and I haven't killed this one yet. So yeah, I thought that was really cool. So those are the Peperonia Ripple Leaf or Caparata. In the Caparata family, I have a burgundy one. So here I have this one just like that deep red color. And you may notice all my peperomias are looking very compact and they have a lot of tight growth. The reason for that is, like I said, I was really bad at watering. So I caused some leaves to fall off. Basically all its old leaves, they just died off. Um, I did propagate some of them and they grew out little uh, leaves and I try to repot them in soil and they didn't make it, um, but I'm happy that my plants are growing back. Um, I'm just glad that they're happy and they're surviving. So I do put these all of these peperomias under a grow light just to keep them happy and keep their color very rich. And there is my burgundy peperomia. This one here, when I pick this one up, it is the Peperomia caparata abricos. It's defined as a white ripple peperomia. It's this colorful, easy grow houseplant for shade to bright light. Makes a tight mound perfect for small places. The houseplant needs soil that don't get too cold or stay too wet, but can live on porches and patios in the summer. So when I got this, this ripple leaf did not have this coloring to it. It was just a basic green ripple leaf at the time that I bought it. I picked it up at a garden, oh sorry, an Armstrong Garden Center down south. And when I picked it up, it was just green. But based on this ID tag, I was like, I bet you if I give it enough sun, it's going to like change colors and the 
it said white ripple so honestly I didn't know what to expect. I thought maybe like the white creamy variegation of like a string of hearts would be the color of this so I was like I'm gonna take it I'm gonna put it in the sun like in my windowsill and let it um, change colors. For a while when I had it I didn't put it in the window I just uh, had it sitting there but then I got some grow lights installed and immediately it just pushed out all this color. Like, look at that little flower coming through. It's even pink. And like, it's kind of hard to show you the undersides. There we go. They're all very pink. So this is so like cool to me that I got this as a basic green plant. And now it has like this awesome color to it. Someone told me it was a pink lady peperomia, but I don't believe that. Comparing them to the pictures I see online, the pink lady is a very different pink. So the pink lady is one that I would like to get. But for now, I have this one and it's pretty cool. Okay, so another peperomia that I have is going to be this Little Tuscany. I think it's called Little Tuscany um, peperomia. And it just looks like very little leaves compact. I don't know if it's gonna stay small like that or if it's just like that right now because it's young. Honestly, I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it. I just saw it and it reminded me of like the silver frost that I used to have, but unfortunately killed. So when I saw this one, I just thought like, it's a peperomia. It looks very ripple-like and I added to my collection because I just, I love peperomia now that I know how to take care of them and I'm not like scared that I'm gonna pay all this money and I end up killing them. I can actually put money towards them because I know that I can keep them alive with the help of the grow light. It's not just all me. So next I have this one here. It is just a green ripple leaf and it's been struggle busting since I got it. It was actually two different plants they were super large and I got them at the grocery store Vallarta Market. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have them, but it's more of like a Hispanic grocery market. And when I got it, I immediately switched the soil because I didn't trust it. It kind of looked like it had spider mites. I wasn't sure, but I just took the risk because I liked how big the plant was at the time that I bought it and it was like $8. But unfortunately, that didn't really pay off because all the old growth just fell off. Like, it just was no good. It turned to mush. It just fell off. And I thought, oh, great. The plant has root rot for sure. I'm going to lose the whole thing. I had already put it in terracotta when I switched the soil. And I think here when we moved, the bit of cold draft that we had didn't help its case because it dropped more, even more leaves. But if you can see here, there's so much growth coming in to both sides of the plant. And I'm just so happy because even though like the old growth may still fall off, I know that like based on this growth right here, the plant is healthy, it's happy, and it's going to see more days ahead of itself. So yeah, that is another peperomia. The next peperomia, probably my favorite peperomia, is going to be my peperomia prostrata, aka string of turtles. And this one I actually picked up off of Etsy, an Etsy um, seller, I'll link her in the description. But here it is just this full luscious pot of string of turtles and let me pull that out this pot right here I found at TJ Maxx just one random day I was like I'm gonna stop at TJ Maxx I'm just gonna look I like finding pots there and I found this one and it's just like so cute and I was hoping to find more, maybe like a smaller one to go with it to make a matching set, but I have only ever found this one and it's my favorite pot. So for now, I try to put my favorite plant in it. 
Yeah, just look at those turtles. They're so healthy. Ooh. Oh, one fell off. It's okay. Um, these propagate so easy, like cutting them, putting on sphagnum moss in a little jar. They just thrive under the grow light, of course, until they like get good roots. Um, but I plan to make a video on that because I have propagated from this plant a lot. So that will be another video I'd like to make. And lastly, I recently got this one um, at Lowe's. This is going to be the Peperomia Ruby Cascade, and it's defined as a cactus slash and succulent. I've seen these going around, and I wasn't sure. It wasn't something that I was like, oh, I have to have that. It was just like, eh, if I see it and it's a good price, I'll get it. This was $13 for a 1.3 quart, uh, roughly like five inches. It's not quite four and I don't think it's quite six, but I saw the leaves and I was like, okay, it is heart shaped leaves. It's a peperomia, so it's a part of my collection. And then the underside they have like this ruby color, which maybe is where they get their name from. And I just thought that's really cool. Here come in the summer, I'm probably gonna put, oh, this one outside just so that it gets the most sun and heat and maybe it'll just like take off yeah i'm pretty excited about that new find well this is pretty much all of my collection it's not the largest but it is a good variety at least i think for myself and so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about peperomias, um, I meant to give you guys tips. My tips is gonna be terracotta, soil that has perlite because perlite helps a lot. Um, let them dry out in between waterings um, and pebble trays. So if you put rocks on the bottom with some water and just set the pot on there, that creates humidity in the moisture and it helps them, um, they like that environment. Or if you have like a little humidifier that you can just designate towards them, that also works really good. I noticed um, that's where a lot of my new growth came from. Like this here, it just, when I would have a humidifier next to it, I wouldn't necessarily like have it pounding on it, but just like around it. So the air around it was humid. It really enjoyed that. But yeah, if you guys have any other questions or any peperomias that you guys like that you'd like to share with me, please leave it down below and I'll check it out. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.